Um, sorry the light's a bit low. I haven't uh, figured out the electricity in the van yet. I need to get that set up. Um, yeah, I felt like making a video for a couple of reasons. Um, the first reason I'll come to later, because I had it earlier, but then just now I was just like chilling in my van and like opened up the, I suppose you could call it a curtain, but it's kind of like a blind and um, like a, a shutter kind of thing. And it let me look out onto the street and I was just thinking like, how nice it is to have a place to come back to that's just me and Lily and it's just really chill. Um, a lot of the time I can feel pretty bored in here because there's not like so much to do and often my batteries are dead so like my phone is dead and my laptop is dead and I'm just reading books which is also really good but um, yeah it's a small space um, and a very simple space but at times it can be so fucking lovely like right now um what was the other thing I wanted to talk about oh yeah hormones so like people tend not to talk about their negative experiences with hormones like on YouTube um when they're making videos about this stuff and so I felt like maybe I should be one of those people to do that um it's often like a very polar thing so it's like people either talking about like how awesome the hormones are or it's people um talking about detransitioning and how like they don't want them at all and i've always kind of been in between um so like even before i started hormones uh i wasn't sure if i wanted to go on them and the only thing i wanted to change was my voice which has changed on testosterone um but like, of course, so many other changes come with that as well. And I didn't want any of them at the time. And then as I've been on testosterone, um, I became accustomed to those changes and I started to really like them. So like, um, so like stomach fluff was like something that I ended up really liking. But then also every now and then I'd get really triggered because um, it would remind me of someone who was really abusive toward me. Um, and I'm getting that feeling again, where like, it's almost like dysphoria, but it's not really a gender dysphoria because it's not me being uncomfortable with my gender, it's like me being uncomfortable with resembling someone who is abusive towards me. So like getting this body hair is like, um, remind me of them in a way that I don't want to be reminded of them. Um, and it's only when it's on me that it's an issue. <laughs> um, yeah. So I'm thinking, like, do I want to slow down the testosterone? Do I want to stop it? I mean, like, I inadvertently stopped it for, like, a week when I was moving into the van because I just got really distracted. Um, but, like, maybe subconsciously I was trying to come off it. Um... Or do I want to stay at the same level? Or do I want to like increase my level so there's more changes faster, but then I can stop it. But like there's so many positives to being on testosterone. Like my periods have gotten so much shorter, which is awesome and like really handy for living in a van. Um, and I think my mood is better. Like I'm more frustrated maybe than I was before but I don't think that's necessarily a hormonal thing I think it's just that like I'm a lot more aware of shit that's happening in the world and pissed off with it um what was the thing I was going to say positives of testosterone um oh yeah uh, I'd love to try having facial hair. Um, that would be cool. I think uh, part of it is like, I think it would be fun to play with and like modify and um, dye different colors and stuff. 
I think part of it as well is that I want to queer the way I look more. Like, everybody assumes I'm cis. And it's really fucking hard. Like, yeah. I know there's some privilege in that, in that, like, people assume I'm a lesbian as opposed to a trans person when I'm walking down the street and, like, I get harassed for being a lesbian as opposed to, like, being, like, physically attacked. I mean, I've been on the cusp of being physically attacked before, but, I mean, it hasn't happened and I'm lucky. Um... What am I saying? Yeah, I guess I'm saying that, like, maybe if I had facial hair, people wouldn't just assume I'm cis all the time. I don't know. Yeah, so I guess I'm in the same place as I was before I started testosterone, that I don't really know what I want. Um, and sure, we'll see how it goes. And I'm making this video because don't think I've ever seen anybody talk about this before. And especially as someone on testosterone. And so, like, I want other people that feel the same way to know that they're not alone. And that there's someone else that feels that way. And it's okay to wing it and not really know what you're doing. Fuck it. I don't know. <laughs> YOLO. Um... Oh yeah.